everyone, happy Sunday and welcome to another update of my hashtag 365 days of samples. I'm going to start as always with the products that I would not purchase the full size of. So the first thing I have is from Briogeo and this is the Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel. So I don't have curly hair, I have very fine straight hair, but I like to use products meant for curly hair sometimes because I find that they're thicker. And because I also have really damaged frizzy hair, sometimes I can find the right products that are heavy enough that don't weigh my hair down, but give me some sort of control. And um, this specifically is supposed to be a frizz control product. I thought it was going to be great and it did not work for me. Normally when I shower um, afterwards, I brush my hair out and I either put it up in like a bun on top of my head or like a low bun if I'm sleeping and sometimes I braid it. And so I would either put a little bit of this in my hair after I had brushed it out if I was wrapping it in like a bun or I would put a little bit on the braid once I had braided my hair to try and tame those frizzy things and I just didn't feel like it controlled my frizz much at all. I am constantly looking for products that will better control this mess I have that I call hair and this thing just did not work for me. Next I had some concealer samples from NARS and this is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I was really excited to try this because I had heard so many good things. I actually watched a couple of reviews on it. The formula of this concealer is amazing. It is so good. This would be my perfect concealer. So you're probably wondering why this is in the category of products I would not purchase the full size of. It's 100% because of the shade matching. Uh, they do have a fair amount of shades in this range. They just don't have something that's light enough that would match me. So the shade that I tried out of this, so there's three that I did not use and I'm not going to use them. I'm gonna pass them on to other people because I'm sure I can find some people who would better match these particular shades and could try it out and probably get some good use out of it. Um, I used the shade Vanilla. Vanilla is light too. The lightest shade is Chantilly and Chantilly is yellow toned. Vanilla is the right undertones for me being a fair cool tone person but it's too dark it's only a little bit too dark as well like if there was one shade lighter or half a shade lighter it would be perfect it would be the absolute perfect color match it was just a tiny bit too dark because I used it on spots on my face to spot conceal like I was playing around with it and I was putting it on the psoriasis I have on my forehead and then I had a couple like little spots and I was just using it lightly to cover those spots and it looked good and if I used a slightly darker foundation I could see how perfect it was and how good it made my skin look. Um, the concealer is exactly what it says it is. It's soft matte. It's a very creamy concealer yet it's not so creamy like um, the one I've been using currently that I had a sample of previously that I really liked was the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer which comes in a little tub and I find it to be almost too thin to properly cover. Like it's a great concealer. I don't think I'm gonna purchase it though because it's just not holding up. This one stayed in place. Even if I didn't really set it that heavily, it just didn't move around and it stayed for a long time. The only thing is that it ended up being a little bit too noticeably dark. So instead of being a proper match to just spot conceal so that you really can't tell the difference, it just stood out as being a little bit of a darker spot on my face. So there's nothing I can do about that. The fact that NARS doesn't have a shade that matches me, it kind of sucks because the formula is so good, but oh well, at least I can move on and find something that would work for me, hopefully as well as this did, because it really is a great consistency for a concealer for what I need it for. So if you've ever had a problem with your concealer not staying on and you need something that was going to stay in place a little bit better but still looked really natural, uh, go get yourself a sample of the NARS Soft Matte Concealer because like, the formula is a a plus. And the last thing that I would not purchase the full size of is something that I'm adding in to talk about. Uh, I wasn't going to talk about these things, but then I thought this was an appropriate time to do so. There's a few times I've used samples here and there, and I mean it's been very, very rarely, but I've used them and then kind of put them in my empties bag instead of talking about them here, and I feel like this is the most appropriate time to be talking about samples. So I'm going to try and include things when I remember to do so. So I was in MAC uh, a week and a half ago, something like that, I had to pick something up. 
Um, it was a brow gel. I think I already talked about that in my reverse rouge in case you guys missed that update. But anyway, I got a couple samples of foundation. I was actually going to repurchase the MAC water weight foundation and they did not have my shade. So um, the sales associate was fantastic and she offered me some samples of foundation in my shade because she's like, well, try these instead, you know, see what you think. So one of the ones she gave me was the uh, Studio Fix in NW13. And I'd used Studio Fix before and I wasn't crazy about it. And when she offered it to me, I was like, I'll take it. You know, why not? It's a free foundation sample. I'll try it out. And then I used it and was like, I remember why I did not like this. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a good foundation. It just does not compare to the other ones I've used. So the foundation is a natural finish that leans more towards the matte side. And I just felt like it did nothing for my skin. Like I put it on and my skin was just lifeless. Even when I did all my usual magic on top of it, my skin just looked blah. If I had used it and had not already used other foundations, I probably would have liked it because it was a very good color match for me. It covered everything very well. You know, it was a very nice base. It wasn't something that I put on and I went, wow, my skin looks good. It was just, okay, I'm wearing foundation. My skin's even, but that's it. So. The Studio Fix foundation, not for me, but it was fun getting a sample and trying it again. So for products that I would purchase the full size of, I will start with the little MAC sample first. This is the Mineral Moisture Foundation in NW13. I put this on and I fell in love. This is one of the best foundations I have ever used. Like it's almost immediately right up there with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. So much so that when I was asked what I wanted for Mother's Day, I asked for this foundation. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about it. So out of this little sample jar, I got about three days uses out of this foundation. So I got to try it with a few different primers to see what works and what didn't. And it worked with everything. And it just made my skin look so healthy and glowy and radiant. And it was one of those mind blowing things. Like it's such a stark, contrast to the Studio Fix foundation, where the Studio Fix foundation, it was just like, it's on my face, you know, whatever. And I put this on and I went, oh my god, our skin looks so glowy and healthy. I kept going to reach for it. And that's something that I've been trying to track more recently, is how many times I think about using a product before I would purchase it. Um, there's been certain things where I go, you know, oh, I wish I had this. You know, sometimes it's a passing thing. Sometimes it's one specific look where it's like, oh, you know what, I wish I had this product. And then I never think about it again because it was just a one-time thing where I was trying to create something. But there's other times where it's like, okay, I want this, I want that. Um, for instance, a brow pencil. I still haven't bought one because I'm still trying to figure out which one I want. But almost every single day I go do my makeup. I, I would say almost. Definitely. Every single day I go to do my makeup, I'm like, I wish I had a brow pencil because I find it so much easier to use a brow pencil to do the front part of my brows. And I'm like, mm, I miss it so much because I don't have one. So I'm not trying to track that so that I can justify my purchases, you know, to myself and to make sure that it's, it's a worthwhile purchase and not just something I'm buying because I want it in the moment, but something that I want and I'm going to use. That's the most important thing to me right now is I want to have products that I'm using, not products that I might like swatch or use a couple of times and then put away. So anyway, the Mineral Moisture <laughs> Foundation. I'm so glad I have the full size of this now. I'm not wearing it right now because it's not technically Mother's Day, so I haven't broken out the foundation yet, um, but I will be wearing it soon. I'm going to try and not use it very often, but let's be real. I'm going to be using it often. I'm trying to do a rotation through some of my foundations so I can figure out if I need to declutter stuff or stuff that would be suitable for panning because I am still planning to do panning projects. I just want to rotate through stuff first. And I go through foundations pretty quickly. It takes me just a couple of months to finish a brand new full size bottle. So I have all these little partial bottles that I'm trying to finish. Anyway, this is just a long rambly way of me saying I love this foundation and I can't wait to use it again. Okay, so there are a few more products that I would purchase the full size of. The last three are all from Dr. Brandt. So the first one is the Needles No More 3D Filler Mask. So I had used a sample of this 
previously like last year during this project and then I had the little jar because last time I had a foil so I got more uses out of the jar than I did the foil of course and it just made me love this product even more so it says that it's supposed to be something that fills in fine lines and wrinkles so I don't have a lot of those right now I definitely do have more than I used to aging is a wonderful thing but I really did like this a lot because I felt like it filled in the little problem areas that I did have like especially my forehead and um, I would use it a little bit on my like neck area I, it doesn't tell you to use it on your neck it just says to like use it on your face but that's like my problem areas right now or the thing that I'm trying to be really preventative about is I feel like that's where I'm sort of predisposed to signs of aging is like my neck and my forehead and I'm sure that's the same thing for a lot of people and it actually says on the jar to only use it from chin to cheekbone but I don't really have a need to use that product there like there was a few times where I did pat a little bit all over my face and it just made me feel like my face was a little bit tighter but I just used it on like those two areas and I felt like it really helped a lot so I would definitely purchase this this is the kind of skincare stuff that I want to have on hand to be preventative because I feel like the earlier you start these kind of treatments regimes whatever you want to call it uh, the better your skin will look long term it's going to be a lot easier to be preventative with signs of aging than it is going to be to try and correct them and the last two are both face primers I have the classic pores no more pore refiner primer and the pores no more luminizer primer which is their newer primer so this one has been out forever the pores no more this is the the original one so it says it's supposed to minimize the look of pores absorb oil and mattify and it did I wouldn't necessarily say it was overly mattifying but it definitely definitely minimized the look of pores Wow. So I've talked a lot about my issues with pores. It's been one of my biggest skin concerns because especially this area of my face, um, pores can look massive. And I have to say recently with a combination of skincare and good makeup, my pores are so much smaller than they used to be. They are nowhere near as large and noticeable as they were before. So feeling good about that. Uh, this primer is really thick. It's also somewhat tinted. Um, sorry if you can hear the cold in my voice. I know, I'm getting sick again. Isn't that lovely? Um, I think I can get a tiny bit out of here. So it's actually tinted and it reminds me a little bit of the Benefit uh, Professional, except I don't really like the Benefit Professional. So this is really thick. It's tinted, but when you like rub it in your face you don't see it at least I don't see it unless I happen to not blend it in that well if I blend it in well enough it just disappears into my skin leaves my skin feeling really soft and it leaves my pores looking smaller and I can put my foundation on and my pores are pretty much non-existent it's fantastic so I will definitely be buying this at some point because it really did make a difference and it worked with a lot of different foundations. Just because it says it's mattifying, I, I felt like I almost had to use a matte, a matte foundation with it. No, I used the MAC Mineral, Mineral uh, Moisture Foundation on top of it and it just made my skin look so glowy and flawless because I had the glowiness from the foundation yet the pore covering from the primer. So best of both worlds. So speaking of the best of both worlds, the Pores No More Luminizer Primer, wow. Okay, so I've raved a lot about the Becca First Light Primer. Not the Backlight Primer, I do not like that one, but the First Light one, the purple one. That made my skin look so glowy and like amazing. I, can't, I really wanna try that primer with the MAC Mineral Foundation because I feel like it would blow my mind. But I did use that foundation with this primer and just Oh my god. So this says that it's supposed to give you a natural looking backlight glow. It's supposed to revive dull complexions and it's supposed to help refine the look of pores. So it definitely gave my skin that luminous glowing look and it masked my pores. But this primer is thick. So thick it's like foundation thick. Uh, the only thing I could really compare this to was my Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation. It was that level of thick. I applied it with a brush. I had to. I just could not get it to blend in with my fingers. You do have to 
kind of play around with applying it because the first time I did try just apply it with my fingers because that's how I normally apply a primer and that's how I apply the Pores No More primer until I started using this one with a brush and then I used that one with, uh, applied that primer with a brush as well and I found that it applied so much better and gave me better coverage so I'm going to try that a little bit with some of my primers but some of them are so thin because they're more moisturizing hydrating primers um, that trying to apply them with a brush makes no sense um, because there's certain like foundations and stuff that I would not use uh, a brush with because they're so thin. I didn't use like a sponge or my fingers. So anyway, this is so, so thick and I did not like it at first. I really did not. Like I felt like it was really too heavy and thick and it's because I was using too much product because I'm used to having to use a lot of primer when I use some of the lighter ones. This one you really do not need a whole lot. And when I applied it with a brush, like it really just covered my face and it looked glowy. Now, when you first have just the primer on, you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. You know, it doesn't look anything like your skin looks particularly special. Like with the Pores No More primer, um, the classic one, if you put that on and you're doing like a no makeup day, you really could just conceal and go because it does already help to conceal the look of your pores. This one did a little bit, but it's really special when you put your foundation on top of it and when you do that you have a glowy canvas of skin and you have like reduced pores like you have really young fresh looking skin so i use this with a few different foundations as well although i did not use it with a mattifying like full coverage thick foundation because i just thought what's the point in that um my favorite combinations were the mac mineral one the urban decay naked skin um, also the Becca Aqua Luminous and the Laura Mercier Candlelight Foundation. Those ones all worked really well because they were all sort of glowy light coverage foundations anyway. But then you have the extra glow from the luminizing primer. I found some really great products from this challenge, I have to tell you. Sometimes I feel like the less products I have to talk about, the more I end up talking. Anyway, I have a few things still in progress in my little box here. Um, the Diva Curl It's That Good Super Cream. This has been in here for a while, but I, I've used this. It's like half gone. There's a lot of product in this sample. Like This is thick. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. So I have been using this, kind of liking it. Not really sure though. I, I only wash my hair a couple times a week, so I don't get to use it that often, but I've been just using a tiny bit to try and like moisturize my hair a little bit because it is that thick product meant for curly hair, which I don't have, but I do try and, you know, do what I can. So I'm going to keep using that one. I am still working away on my Elizabeth and James Nirvana black rollerball getting there. It's really close to being done. And the Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon fragrance. So I've only used this a couple times. There's really not a whole lot gone under this because I've really sprayed it like six times. Uh, it smells beautiful. It just doesn't, it's not as dark and like mysterious as the Nirvana Black. And this is like kind of perfume that I feel like mixes so well with me. People give me compliments on this perfume. It's the thing that just seems to just be my scent. This one, uh, I like it. I don't feel like it's as good as the Nirvana Black. Uh, it really just does smell like vanilla bourbon. And the last two things are the two bronzers. I'm going to hang on to them for another two weeks just before I make my final verdict on them. Uh, the Buxom Tahiti bronzer. This one's really glittery, but it smells amazing. And I actually used it as an eyeshadow once, and it's beautiful as an eyeshadow. Like, do I need an eyeshadow like this? Like a bronzy eyeshadow? No. But I enjoy using it that way, so... I'm going to play around with it a little bit more before I make my decision on whether, what I'm going to do with it. And then the Pure Mineral Glow. Uh, this thing I was really not sure about. And I used it a couple times, like lightly, and I just thought, mm, still not sure. And then today, when I was doing my makeup, I was just in that sort of like springy, California glowy kind of thing, and I just loaded my face full of this stuff. Sometimes I feel like in certain, certain lighting, it looks really, really dark, and sometimes I feel like it just looks really glowy. Um, it's I looked at myself in lighting in a few different places. Um, I looked at myself under like my studio lights, I looked under bathroom lights, I looked under just natural lighting, and like under the bathroom lighting, it was like, wow, I'm orange. And then under the natural lighting, it was like, I look pretty good, like this is doesn't look unnatural and I'm not exactly sure how this is going to translate so you guys will have to let me know what you think because this stuff is pretty much all over my face because uh, I wanted to like really have that glowy thing going so 
I'm not sure about this. I'm kind of on the fence. So your feedback would be very much appreciated. All right, the sample box. It's really getting down there. I have made such good, good progress with my samples. I'm really happy. But at the same time, I don't want this project to end. But I've been making so many less online purchases and just going into stores less. So I've been getting less samples. And it's so disappointing to think that there's going to be an end to this project because there's no way I'm going to be able to keep like the sample box full. And I don't want to either. But I will say that. Like I don't want to have like a never ending box of samples but I like to have enough to try. I feel like this project is going to go from being every two weeks to being like every three weeks or even just monthly once I get the, through the box enough. Don't freak out. I know some people really love this uh, series and I love it too. It's just going to get to a point where it's, I'm going to have like five samples a month you know. There's only going to be so much I can do. Anyway I'm just chatty and I guess um, I'm getting my, my groove back here so I'm going to choose five products, maybe more. We'll see. We'll see. It depends on what I draw. So uh, the first product I have here is from Laneige, and this is the Balancing Emulsion. The second product is from Clinique, and this is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. The third product is from YSL. This is Black Opium. I love this perfume. So yay. The fourth thing is something good. Uh, this is from Makeup Forever. This is one of the artist plexigloss lip glosses. And the fifth product is from Too Faced. And this is the Love Flush Blush in Your Love is King. So, pretty? We'll see. So I do think I'm going to pick two more things, just because. So, I have from Cover FX, this is a, a mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. Cool. And the last product, definitely the last one, is from Bite. And this is a yellow lip gloss. My sister actually did send me up a few things that are travel size, deluxe size that she included with some of my birthday stuff. So I'll probably also sort through that and put that stuff in this box so I have more things to choose from, some more varieties. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And especially let me know if you've used any of these products and if you have any advice for me because it's very, very much appreciated. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead of you and I will see you next week for Lipstick Roulette. Bye for now.